Um, now for lunch, what would you recommend for lunch, and what time would you recommend lunch? Well, lunch maybe about one o'clock. Mm -hmm. About one o'clock, and for me, I, I mean, I don't know about other people. Some people say, you know, they don't like white rice; they go for brown rice. Yeah. You know, which is okay. Uh -huh. But the thing, the most important thing is actually the portion. Even if you're eating, you know, the white rice, and then try and throw in some, you know, vegetables, mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. You know, basically depending on your fitness goal. But whatever it is, if you're saying, okay, let's just eat healthy, you mm -hmm. can go for, you know, brown rice. You can go for. Um, with wheat pasta, okay. you know, and then have a bit of vegetables, mixed okay. vegetables, and okay. then you know your protein. You have it there, you know, and you know water. You know, basically, but the portion is actually key. And the most important thing is eating as often as possible, maybe two, two hours or three hours, but just little, little, so that small portions, yeah, just small portions, so okay. that you don't end up eating, you know, so much overeating, yeah, basically. Overeating. Okay. So you're basically saying in the morning, start off with the complex carbs and some yeah. protein. In the afternoon, you can do carbs. You can do yeah. even do simple carbs, mm -hmm. but you just need to control you just your need portions. To control the portions. Okay. And then so even if you don't even do that, you can have, you know, salad with, with chicken. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have salad with chicken, salad with fish oil. I mean, it depends uh -huh. on, you know, whatever you like. Okay. You know, that can now, work. okay, so now let's say you eat lunch at about one o'clock. Yeah. Throughout, and then for the rest of the day, what happens? For me, about four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go for a sandwich, mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, yeah. you know, just keep the body, you know, ready for go for um, a sandwich with uh -huh. chicken in it, vegetables, yeah. tomatoes, yeah. you know, and all that. Probably eat like a bit of like a vegetarian meal, even though I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love beef, you know. Okay. I mean, all the same, just try and keep it, um, you know, simple, you know, not too complex. Because another thing you need to understand is that our Nigerian environment, you know, is different from, you know, other places. Of course. So you can't say I'm eating, you know, the same way they eat. No, it's, it's, it's not sustainable, you know. So... Mm, quite very hot so you need energy and you know, it, to it, sustain it, 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 because it's so hot it, it literally saps it, it your energy it takes a lot from you. so yeah. you need to replace you know that energy you know with time you know alongside you know exercising but is it know. absolutely necessary that because our weather is hot because it yeah. literally sucks us of energy yeah. is it absolutely necessary that you know it must be the pounded yam or the eba no. or the semo <laughs> like for me, you know, or the I, wheat you know that you have to eat the, the every wheat, single wheat, time. Is even, wheat is even still you know okay if, uh -huh. you, if you're going to take wheat but for eba pounded yam i don't know how other people you know people handle it because it also depends on you know your own body structure mm -hmm. like if i take pounded yam or eba mm -hmm. trust me i'm done mm -hmm. You know, that's, that literally just, you know, drains me. So I try as much as possible, you know, to avoid them. I can go okay. for wheat. Okay. I don't mind. I can go for semo. But just little portion mm -hmm. and then more, of, you know, vegetables. You have the fish, you have okay. the prawns and yes. all that. I mix that, uh -huh. you know, in it so that, I mean, you don't end up, you know, getting so much visceral fat and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then literally your, your, your tummy starts yeah. extending. It's like, hello, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, arrived yeah, in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're okay. Like, Okay, so four o'clock you do a sandwich, or yeah. you should you could do fruit as well. You can actually do fruit. Yeah, you can do fruit. And then when time. is a good time to have dinner? Dinner should about seven. Okay. I, I, I try as much as possible. Anything after seven is just water, water, water. But if you're extremely hungry, it's, it's pointless to starve yourself. Okay. Yeah, because when you starve yourself, your cortisol hormones they spike up. And when they spike up, it's it affects you. It's not good. It puts a lot of pressure on stress. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want that so okay, even so if it's hungry, even if it's eat. after seven uh -huh. and then you feel very because the people that like for me when i'm very hungry i start having a headache so don't let it get to that point before you eat all in the name of oh i'm trying to diet oh i'm trying to have a slim waist and all yeah. that no 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 yeah so, you know please just eat eat if you have to eat eat something mm -hmm. you know it's very key but for me i try as much as possible to keep my you know my evening meal mm -hmm. you know light okay you know as light as possible yes. because i mean i'm more active in the evening uh -huh. but, you know just have something very light i can even do coke out still okay you know in the evening with uh with even juice okay. i can have a, a, a bit of juice but immediately when i'm done with that i just go out for maybe chill for about 30 minutes and i house go out for a walk mm -hmm. you know and then come back in relax and drink water throughout you know, most of the time or well, you can even have you know beans because beans actually sustains you for a period since it's also you know it's got a bit of complex you, you know carbs okay all right good so okay like we're talking about the food now so what how would you say or how important is the food yeah. you eat to the exercise you do well the, the okay number one it depends on your your fitness goal for instance mm -hmm. now let's pick you know a general uh, fitness goal for let's say weight loss for instance now it has to either be a balance within the calories that you take in uh -huh. and then the calories that you expel yeah 
Now, for instance, if you take 1,000 calories in and you burn 1,000 calories, you know, your weight will remain the same. Okay. If you take 1,000 calories in and then you burn 500 calories, then you're going to add weight. Yeah. You know, but if you take 1,000 calories in and then you burn 1,500 calories, mm -hmm. then you lose weight. Okay. You know, so like I said, the portion too is key, you know, at the same time. So if you say, oh, I'm losing weight, you need to do, uh, you want to do cardio, you want to do strength training. Then you're going to focus on taking carbs. Mm -hmm. You're also going to focus on taking protein. Mm -hmm. You also need the vitamins, you know, mm -hmm. which you get from the vegetables, from the fruits, you know, bananas and all that. So there isn't that necessarily a restriction to, to what you have to eat. But I'm not mm -hmm. saying go for sweets, chocolates, biscuits, fruit juice, and all the fizzy drinks and all that. That's because you're exercising. That you would have to cope, you yeah. know, for a bit. But you see, there has to be a transition because it's not easy to just move from point A so you go to A and then you just jump to D yeah. without going to B, C, C. and the, the uh -huh. principles that you need to follow. And if you don't follow those principles, then I mean, you can't guarantee the success okay. of you know your fitness goal. Okay, good.